Well, it's it's a fantastic day today. Uh, it's really exciting because we've got the arrival of two beautiful Suffolk mares out there. When Tony Finley, who owned several Suffolk horses, was taken ill with a stroke, leaving him in a coma for three months, he realised he wasn't going to be strong enough to be able to breed these mares. And George Pratt, one of our trustees, stepped in to help and was able to advise and facilitate the ability to move these to Jimmy's farm. So here at Jimmy's farm, we've got a huge collection of rare breeds and that's something that we're truly committed to. So when we were given the chance to expand that into our very first Suffolk Punch, we could not be more overwhelmed that the Suffolk Horse Society has actually chosen us to help push that. These guys are critically endangered and one of the rarest rare breeds you can get. Important to me because these represent a living legacy. They're part of our agricultural heritage and we think about farming in very modern terms today and all the fields out here, all this countryside would have been tilled with these animals here. Um, they were the powerhouse behind British agriculture. Now both myself and Jim have got really sort of key roles when it comes to rare breeds. Jim is the president of the Rare Breed Survival Trust, so for him it's important that we have these beautiful animals on site and expand them and hopefully breed them in the future. With Steve Airy of BHB International providing transportation, Mr Finlini's partner Mary oversaw everything and George acting as groom, the safe arrival to Worsted was complete. as a farm park is a huge stepping stone. So we can't wait to work with Mr. Finley and the, the society in the future to find the perfect stallion for these two beautiful girls. It's up to us to carry on the legacy. So hopefully these two are the beginnings of something very special at Jimmy's Farm. We hope to see lots and lots of young Suffolk punches. To be able to hopefully not only protect them for future generations, but also just to just to have them here for the public to see, because as an open attraction, the more people that come and see them and are amazed by them, the more people feel truly inspired about them to then make a difference. So hopefully in the future, when we get some babies on site, we can do just that.